let f of x comma y comma z be a scalar field or function, and big f of x comma y comma z be a 3D vector field. For each expression, decide first if it is meaningful, and if so, whether the result is a scalar field or vector field. For a quick review, we find the gradient of a function, and the result is no longer a function or scalar field, but a vector field. We determine the divergence of a vector field, and the result is no longer a vector field, but a scalar field or function, and we determine the curl of a vector field, and if the vector field is three-dimensional, then the curl of the vector field is another vector field. Looking at number one, we have the gradient of the function f, which results in a vector field. Number two, we begin with the divergence of the vector field f, which results in a scalar field or function, and then we want to find the divergence of that scalar field or function, which we can't do. We can only determine the divergence of the vector field, and therefore number two is not meaningful. Number three, we begin with the gradient of f, or del f, which results in a vector field, and then we determine the curl of that vector field, and the curl of a vector field is another vector field, the result is meaningful, and the result is a vector field. Number four, the gradient of f, or del f, is a vector field. The divergence of the vector field f results in a scalar field or function. And we can only determine the cross product of two vector fields, or two vectors. We cannot cross a vector field and a scalar field, and therefore number four is not meaningful. Number five, we begin with the curl of the vector field f, which is another vector field, and then we want the curl of that vector field, which results in another vector field. Number five is meaningful, the result is a vector field. I hope you found this helpful.